Big news. China has accepted XRP. XRP to $50,000. Brooks and Whistle, Vice President and Managing Director of Ripple for Asia Pacific, Middle East and North Africa, in a recent interview with Token Post, noted the significant growth of RippleNet in the supervised region. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. We are growing rapidly, with the Asia-Pacific region being one of the fastest growing regions for RippleNet, where the number of transactions increased by 130% compared to last year. He recalled that solving the problem of inefficiency of cross-border payments is a global task worth $120 billion, where cryptocurrency has convincing utility and is already being used today. He is confident that amid the growing demand for instant settlements and immediate access to capital, the use of RippleNet liquidity on demand ODL, in the APAC and MENA regions will continue to accelerate in 2022. Money transfers will remain a key use case. Regarding the new regulatory framework for digital assets, Antwistle believes that the Asia-Pacific region will remain particularly uneven in the near future. The region is so diverse that the interweaving of social, economic, digital, and political problems in each jurisdiction creates unique difficulties. However, as more traditional financial institutions join the conversation about cryptocurrency, this is likely to encourage regulators and policymakers to think long-term and establish some clear rules of conduct to allow cryptocurrency innovation to manifest itself maturely. In the interview, the topic of NFT and XRP ledger was touched upon. When we first started studying the NFT market, we realized that many of the problems people were facing were related to very primitive technology. The XRP ledger, XRPL, is ideal for further NFT growth. Currently, accessibility barriers such as high gas fees and concerns about sustainability are pushing creators and customers away, limiting NFT use cases mainly to high-value tokens. XRPL provides a unique combination of low-cost, high-speed and good payment features needed to optimize NFT creation at scale. In particular, XRPL can maintain a constant transaction fee, which is not possible on most other platforms today. In addition, since XRPL is already carbon neutral and about 120,000 times more efficient than the leading proof-of-work blockchain, it provides developers with a unique opportunity to launch highly resilient NFT applications and trading platforms. In addition, federated sidechains blockchains that work together with other blockchains may be available for XRPL in the coming months, which opens up many exciting possibilities, including limitless transaction scalability and advanced DeFi capabilities. Now Ripple is actively expanding its presence in the APAC region. Just last year, the RippleNet network expanded with new regional clients, including South Korean GME remittance, and a new solution liquidity hub was introduced, which will allow enterprises to easily and efficiently receive any digital assets from the broader cryptocurrency market. In addition, central bank digital currencies, CBDC, will also become a key element of the digital payments ecosystem of tomorrow. From China to Thailand and Singapore, Asian countries are currently exploring the possibilities of using CBDC. To support the development of CBDC, we recently launched a private CBDC registry to offer central banks a secure, controlled and flexible solution for issuing and managing digital currencies. We are already working closely with Bhutan to pilot a retail CBDC that will help expand financial accessibility in the country and attract many other central banks in the Asia-Pacific region to better understand their CBDC goals. Before joining Ripple, Brooks & Whistle worked in the financial services and technology industry for about 30 years, creating and scaling companies including Goldman Sachs and Uber. Of course, there is nothing in the interview that we don't already know, but it will be useful to remind that the company is growing rapidly and has far-reaching plans. According to the announcement, Ripple's partner Qatar National Bank QNB, one of the largest financial institutions in the Middle East and Africa, has successfully launched a gateway between QNB Qatar and QNB Finansbank, based in Turkey. The launch took place on RippleNet, which significantly expands Ripple's services in the Middle East. The partnership between the two platforms will improve cross-border payment solutions 
and is part of the broader QNB payment ecosystem. Thanks to this cooperation, a leading Middle Eastern bank also became the first to launch RippleNet on the market through the expansion of services in various countries. QNB announced this at the Smart City Expo Doha 2022, where it also acts as the official bank sponsor of the event. The banking center presented RippleNet products at a two-day event organized by the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology, MCIT. At the Congress, Mr. Adel Al-Malki, a division of QNB Group GM Retail Banking, said, We are delighted to be part of such a successful event and are amazed at the number of visitors who have come to experience our digital services at our booth. In addition, Al-Malki expressed QNB's willingness to continue to pave new paths for the future of Qatar. As he put it, By sponsoring and participating in such technology summits and exhibitions, we continue to collaborate and collaborate with leading experts to shape the vision of Qatar's future. The Smart City Expo Doha 2022, which brought together visitors from all over the world, was very informative and interactive. The event shed light on five key themes of the general relationship between societies. These include sustainable cities, the transformation of digital public services, the global economy, digital readiness, and sporting events. QNB's presentation at the exhibition focused on using its digital innovations to solve organic problems affecting customers and sellers. In addition, the largest bank of its kind in the Middle East and Africa demonstrated the latest banking solutions that emerged as a result of the impact of COVID. These include secure contactless transactions at ATMs, the possibility of issuing self-service bank cards and advanced mobile and internet banking capabilities, WhatsApp services. In addition, a well-known financial institution with headquarters in Doha also touched on its WeChat Pay and Simplify Payment Acceptance Scheme. Finally, QNB presented an operational demonstration of an alternative FacePay payment solution with face authentication. According to previous media reports, QNB has successfully launched a gateway between QNB Qatar and QNB Finansbank based in Turkey. The launch took place on RippleNet, which significantly expands Ripple's services in the Middle East. Currently, QNB is present in more than 31 countries on three continents through branches and subsidiaries. In addition, the banking giant also offers a diverse and full range of advanced products and services. Currently, the total number of QNB staff is 27,000 employees working in approximately 1,000 locations, and the ATM network exceeds 4,500 ATMs. The live XRP price today is $0.88 US dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of 3,740,000,000 US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down zero. 4% in the last 24 hours. Now it is time to reveal who is the lucky winner of our giveaway. We randomly selected one fan who fulfilled all the conditions. And the winner is Henry Jane. Congratulations Henry Jane. So XRP Army let's all congratulate Henry Jane in the comment section below and tomorrow we will relaunch our weekly giveaway free 500 XRP. Now let's get back to the video. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.